think you can just walk into a restaurant and order your food willy-nilly? Think again, hangry friends. Burger King says you can have it your way, but those with discerning taste disagree. If you're looking to flex your culinary know-how, there are some menu items that are, to put it bluntly, embarrassing. Here are a few things you can go ahead and 86 the next time you're dining out. Welcome to King Burger, where we can do it your way, but don't get crazy. Well done, steak. Attention, crusty meat eaters. When you insist on cremating that dry-aged strip, you're basically forcing the chef to ruin your meal. According to Porterhouse Bar & Grill chef and owner Michael Lamonico, no matter the kind of steak you're ordering, you'll get the best and truest flavor of the beef, and therefore the maximum enjoyment out of your meat if you order it medium rare. You gonna cut her meat for two there, Cal? <laughs> And according to Munchies, charred meat is high in compounds that have been linked to both cancer and dementia. So take a hint from the pros and save the overcooking for your next backyard barbecue. Ranch Dressing We all know ketchup gets a bad rap, but it's not the only condiment that grinds the gears of gastronomes. Ranch dressing incites just as much side-eye as its tomato-based cousin. The Chicago Tribune's Ben Adler thinks the dressing destroys french fries with useless calories. And on top of pepperoni, he says, it's completely redundant, wildly unhealthy, and disrespectful to any halfway decent pizza. It's tradition. And you don't monkey with tradition, amen. In 2014, Eater reported a Dallas pizzeria charged a whopping $1,000 just for a side of ranch. Though it was all supposedly in good fun, it just proves you can totally ruin your food and your reputation with a drizzle of the creamy stuff. College Kid Cocktails From Mai Tais to Amaretto Sours, many retro cocktails are making a comeback made with top-shelf booze and fresh-picked ingredients. But there's simply no saving some concoctions. Brave Man Swamp Monster, that one. Okay, you got it. Swamps are known for their man. So much stuff in there. If you can gulp down vodka Red Bulls or Long Island iced teas like water, then your taste buds could use a little spiffing up. Red Bull vodkas are strange. I feel like I'm getting drunk and electrocuted at the same time. Any bartender worth their margarita salt will silently judge you for it, so maybe save that sex on the beach for, well, the beach. Hot tea So why should anyone be embarrassed to ask for a cup of hot water with some leaves in it? I haven't arranged to marry him. I've asked him for tea. For tea. According to the bitchy waiter, it's a lot of steps for something that costs $1.50 and will maybe increase my tip by about 30 cents, so yeah, it's a pain in the ass. But if recent studies showing a rise in American tea consumption hold any water, servers may just have to go with the flow. You'll be fine, you just need a cup of tea. Whoosh! Until then, if you have to sip that Earl Grey, make up for the inconvenience in your tip. A fork Is it a faux pas to call for cutlery in a Chinese restaurant? Not necessarily. It's okay to suffer the slight embarrassment of asking for Western utensils until you master those chopsticks. But forks with pizza? Forget about it! Some Italian-American restaurateurs will shame you for using a fork on food that, back in Italy, is actually served with a fork. What uh, situation isn't improved by pizza? As NPR reporter Silvia Poggioli told The Salt, Italians who cut into their pizzas can only scratch their heads when New Yorkers erupt in fury at the sight of silverware near a slice. Give me some fork. When in Rome, uh, New York City, Fold that slice like you own the place. Oh, you gotta be forking kidding me. Thanks for watching. Click the mashed icon and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out this other cool stuff we know you'll love too.